Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Supergeek and today we're going to install Windows 11 on Virtual Machine. So the best way to try out an experimental build is to install it on a Virtual Machine. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install this Windows 11 developer build. It's a leaked build. So we're going to install it on Virtual Machine. So if you are really curious about Windows 11 features, the new features, and if you want to try it out yourself, you can install it on a Virtual Machine. It won't affect your primary device and it won't affect your work as well. VirtualBox is the very popular virtual machine software and that's what we're going to do today. So what you need for this installation is the VirtualBox software as you can see here and the ISO file for that experimental OS, Windows 11 in this case. The download links for both of these things, the ISO and the VirtualBox software is in the description below. You can go ahead and download those. So once you download both of these, install VirtualBox software on your computer and launch that software. So just launch VirtualBox. So you will be presented with this user interface. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one so I can show you the complete process. So all you have to do is click on machine, new, and name this machine whatever you want. I'm going to do Windows 11. Then select Windows 10 from here because it will uh, increase the compatibility thing. So I've selected Windows 10. If you select Windows 7, it won't affect the performance, but choosing Windows 10 from this list will give you a compatibility boost. So after choosing that, go to next. And uh, the recommended memory size is two gigs, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to four gigs so if your computer has eight gigs of RAM, you can easily use four gigs in this virtual machine. It won't affect your performance unless you are running some other software while you're running this virtual machine. Now, after choosing four gigs, go to next, then click on create, then click next again, then click on next again. And now it's showing you the hard drive size so all you have to do is go to 20 gigs 20 gigs is the minimum storage recommendation for windows 10 or 11 they are the similar build uh, internally so 20 gigs will be fine but i will recommend you to do 25 gigs uh, near to 25 gigs if you want to be precise just do zero Okay, it, it's not letting me to do that. Okay, so 25.2 is fine. Now just click on create and it's your virtual machine. Okay, so once the machine is created, all you have to do is go to settings, go to the storage, go to the this icon just click on this icon click on this cd icon right here and click on choose a disk file then choose that iso file which you downloaded and just click on ok now start the machine so once you start the machine the setup process will automatically pop up so as you can see the setup process is right now going on. Now, there you go. Windows 11 setup process is here. So this is the Windows 11 setup process. Just click on install. Just click on install now. And the setup will do its job. So when you see this uh, pop-up, that product key pop-up, just click on I don't have a product key and uh, select the version, Windows 11 version that you want to install. Uh, I recommend you to select Windows 11 Pro since 
we want to try out all the options click on next select this checkbox click on next now select this option right here custom install and select this hard drive click on next and the setup process will begin and complete automatically. So once the virtual machine resets, do not press any key. So the hard drive will boot up So there you go guys, Windows 11 is all installed and booted up. So this is your setup screen and all you have to do is go through this setup process and you will be welcomed with Windows 11 desktop. So that's it for now guys. If you want more videos like this, keep subscribing and like the video. And if you want to know more about Windows 11, I have done a video about that too. You can find the link in the app above and in the description as well. So that's it for now guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.